Today we're going to talk about 8 Blender add-ons that can help you optimize rendering speeds and quality on both Cycles and EV, in addition to other stuff as well. Number 8. Agile Render This is a Blender add-on that reduces rendering speeds using Cycles, which is the default render engine. There are two rendering modes with different settings and different rendering speed performances as well. There is the Agile mode, which maintains the highest image quality compared to the baseline cycles render and it does minimal optimizations. At the same time, it reduces rendering speeds by half or so depending on the graphics card and the processor you have. And if you want even faster renders, there is the Turbo mode, which is the speed optimized preset that makes use of denoising and other optimizations as well. Number 7. EV Express EV Express is an add-on that you can use to speed up the workflow of setting up scenes in Blender's real-time renderer known as EV. You can use it to showcase models or entire scenes in a short period of time. Generally speaking, this is one of the best Blender add-ons for rendering that can be a fantastic time saver if you want to quickly render out models or entire scenes in EV. Because honestly, sometimes it becomes boring and sometimes time consuming to set up scenes manually every time you want to render out something. Number 6. Toonkit for Cycles This is an add-on for non-realistic rendering, photosurreal rendering, and stylish rendering with cycles. It was specifically created to suit the needs of those who work with anime, technical design, archives, and engineering. It can be really helpful for artists and studios to create 2D animations from 3D to save time and effort on some of the tedious and time-consuming aspects of 2D production. It can also be used by architects or designers who want to show their clients a non-realistic rendering of the project if they want to use Blender instead of specialized software such as SketchUp. Number 5. Barista This is not exactly an add-on, but a rendering tool that gives Blender artists direct CPU and GPU rendering access using Amazon Web Services. You can render any type of project like a single frame render, animation, video clips, and composite renders. The good thing about this tool is the fact that it removes the middleman from the equation, which means a few extra costs. Barista allows artists to get direct access to Amazon servers and make it their own render farm, and you can render projects for a very low cost set by Amazon. Generally speaking, using render farms or rendering services allows you to save time and the ability to run Blender while rendering. Since the rendering process runs on Amazon servers, you can continue using Blender at any time during the process, which allows you to work on other things and make even more money. Number 4. K-Cycles K-Cycles is a highly optimized custom build of Cycles render engine which is wrapped in a custom version of Blender. It allows you to have renders at double the speed of the baseline Cycles rendering process because it uses smart optimization presets. It can do this while maintaining the image quality and reducing noise as well. The secret behind this add-on is the ability to analyze your scenes and coming up with render settings that can boost rendering speed as much as possible. You can use it to render still frames and even when it comes to animation as well. Number 3. Ecycles Nebula Ecycles Nebula Edition is a good way of rendering space shots in a very short period of time. This build of Blender is designed to render nebulas only with speeds at 40 times faster at comparable quality out of the box. This add-on works well with the Nebula Generator add-on and they are highly compatible as well. Number 2. Sketch Style This is an add-on that can be used for ambient occlusion, clay and sketch type of rendering, like what we can find in professional software that have the ability to create non-realistic renders such as SketchUp. Sketch style can be used by concept artists, product and industrial designers, and architects who need or like the look of line drawings. Actually what this add-on can do can be completely manually done using Blender, but it is gonna be tedious and time consuming. Also it can be difficult to toggle back and forth between a photo real render setup and a freestyle one. This tool can deal with those problems, furthermore it has the ability to selectively assign photo real materials to sketch style scenes. This is actually one of the best Blender add-ons for rendering usually needed for preliminary design phases, because sometimes it is better to use this style of rendering, since clients have an inherent expectations when looking at the line drawing that they are reviewing concepts, not final designs. Number 1. E-Cycles E-Cycles is a Blender add-on that you can use to achieve better ray tracing performance. 
It promises to solve a real problem for artists that need high-quality renders on their own machines in a reasonable period of time. It works best when rendering with NVIDIA GPUs because it is the equivalent of using double the GPUs when it comes to performance. And eCycles has a streamlined UI for ease of use and fast workflows. Also, what makes eCycles a good add-on is its AI denoiser that requires between 4 to 10 times fewer samples than the other AI-based denoisers to get similar level of quality. Another thing that is going to help a lot is its compatibility with a lot of popular add-ons and materials libraries so you don't have to worry about issues during production. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.